Hello viewers, myself Dr. Vindu and I am a senior physician at Nation Care Homeo Clinic, HSR Bengaluru. Today I am going to talk on the most common problem that we see on day-to-day -day life that is the fungal infection. Of course, fungal infection is the most annoying problem that we can talk about in regards to the skin complaint. Obviously, skin is the biggest organ in our body, so which has to be healthy to shield us from the entries of various kinds of bacteria and virus. However, due to some common entries of the fungal, the skin gets inflamed. So this fungal infection usually we see during the time of summers or especially when a person is more prone to sweating and unhygienic in the private parts. What exactly is this fungus? This fungus is an organism which enters through any part of your body and in the form of spores these multiply. So what happens is fungal, usually we see this fungus growing in a damp wet areas. So especially in the summers when you perspire a lot, when you sweat a lot, especially in the areas where air cannot enter, light cannot enter, for example, your underarms, your genitals or any folds of your skin, there is a lot of sweat which does not dry. So this sweat leads to the growth of the fungus and these small pores which you would have got it from some person like family member might be having this fungal infection or you might be in some hostels especially in hostels also we see these complaints so or some from the hospitals so you might have contracted this fungal spores and these fungus will get a favorable condition in your body and start growing and you know occupying certain areas especially in the groins where the folds we can say the thigh region the genital region slowly you will develop some kind of dryness some kind of itchiness and you know the corners of the fungus will also be literally elevated in the form of what we call it as a ringworm so there are different kinds of fungal infections that we usually see that is the athlete's foot that you can see in the leg region and the ringworm which you can see in any part of the body and along with that what we call it as um, jocks itch so jocks itch is that is most commonly seen in the genitals so it could be you know the blackish discoloration or bluish discoloration with flaky things that comes out when you have little irritation you feel like scratching the areas along with that you can also have burning sensation so these are the symptoms that we usually see so what are the reasons why a person suffers with fungal see every person might have contracted fungal infections from one person to the other it could be the common usage of the towels the clothings or the items like the spores can be available on any materialistic item and once you touch that you also can you know contract the fungal infection but what matters is your individual immunity not that one person in the family gets fungal infection the whole family has the risk but not necessary that everyone suffers with fungal infection individual immunity matters so their immunity system is able to handle you know, and kill the fungus or the spores obviously they don't end up getting these skin rashes but if their immunity is weak they have other comorbid conditions for example they are diabetic or they have an unhealthy skin they have hormonal imbalance they have acne issues or you can say different kinds of diseases that contributes to the lowering of the immunity you still have the risk and you slowly gradually develop these rashes once we start ignoring it you know when we scratch it and we have the spores entering into the nails and we scratch it on some other parts of the body obviously the spores enters into the other part of the body and gradually it can occupy the whole body fungal can be very stubborn and very irritating very annoying it can lower your confidence because sweating is something that we cannot avoid and it has to happen but due to the sweat when you have this fungal infection it is much more irritating so homeopathic approach is going to be individualistic so every person's reason of getting this fungal infection is not the same as we have different types of fungal infections in a similar manner we mainly concentrate on the individualistic approach like what is the reason from where did the person get this fungal infection so a detailed case history 
will definitely help us to completely uh, cure this fungal infection.